Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial, Employee Payroll Management System. This is part 28, and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to generate reports, <clears throat> which is the Employee Report, uh, Employee Total Allowance Report, and Employee Total Deduction Report. So uh, we're going to head over to, your, to our main menu page, uh, just here, and we're going to go to Source Code, and in the source i'm going to provide all the code and the link in the description box below don't forget to download that and the first thing that we need we need to um, we cut and paste um our imports like that and the second thing we need we need the connection part so we're just gonna paste them here like that <coughs> And we'll add a line of code here, just con equals db dot java underscore db. <clears throat> That's it. So you're gonna go, you're gonna save this, and you're gonna go back to your design, and we're gonna add in here a menu bar. Um, there you go. That's a menu bar here. We'll need four um, menu items, so we're gonna. So there you go. So one, two, three, four. The first one we're gonna name it. <coughs> we're gonna call it employee. The second one's gonna be reports. This is the one we're gonna be talking about now. So third one is gonna be audit, and the last one is gonna be about. So in the reports one, we're gonna drag and drop the menu item. So that's one that's two like that <clears throat> and three so the first one's going to be employee employees report which is rp stands for report and you're going to say employee um, total allowance report and the last one is going to be employee total deduction report like that so the first one, uh, we're going to click on the first one, which is the employee reports, right click, events, action, action performed. And you're going to go here, just down here, and you're going to paste the code that I provided. So just like that. There you go. So now you're going to save this and you're going to have back to design. Second one, right click, events, action, action performed. There you go here. So this is for the total allowance. Um, just like that, like that. And you're gonna save it. You're gonna go back to design. And the final one is for deduction. Right click events, action, action performed. Just down here like that. You're gonna paste the final piece of code. So you're gonna save. Um, you're gonna go to your design and everything as well. You're gonna go back to your source. Right click anywhere here in the code, run. And there you go, we have the menu here. And if you click on reports, you're gonna see three things, which we added. Uh, so we're gonna click on employees report to generate it. I'm gonna go to my desktop in here. I've got, yeah, this, this folder. And it will already name it with, it's gonna give it a name of employee employees report. So you're gonna save. Report was successfully generated. Okay, I'm gonna go back here. You're gonna generate the total allowance report, and you're gonna go to desktop like that. A new folder. Yeah, employee allowance report. Save. Okay. <clears throat> Last one. Uh, keep in mind that if you, it it will have information. The PDF is gonna have information based on your database. So if your database has no information whatsoever, the report is going to have zero values. So make sure if you are testing this, you have values in your, um, you have data, sorry, in your um, database. Save. Okay. <clears throat> and we can open the folder now and see what we have. So if we open the folder now, just like that, you got the three reports. So we'll open the first one, which is employee report. There you go. Ask the employee, <coughs> whatever. 
close it. Second one is the deduction here. There you go. That's the deduction report. And the last one is the employee allowance report. <coughs> Uh, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more, more guys. I um, apologize for being late um, on this video. Thanks. Thank you.